I am so glad that all the work I had to do on this parking meter cat over the past two videos is finally over. So now comes the fun part, or at least what I suspect will be fun, washing all the parts and putting them back together and seeing if it actually looks nice. Although I think it'll look pretty cool no matter what. This thing's been through several decades of use, and so I think it'll probably give it a really nice weathered look. I might wait on these though, they're just very intricate, and I'd hate to, I would hate water to get to pool inside here and then not drain very well. That would not be very good because then it would probably rust up. Well, that's just a shame. I didn't even see those papers in there. Oh, hey. A quarter. Look at that. That might be the quarter that I put into it. But I thought I got that out. It's kind of funny that I was in there. This is the last rinse, just to get uh, any of the extra dirt off. And I think that's pretty much it. Look at all those metal filings and stuff, all that crap that came out of it. I'm pretty glad I cleaned this up now. All the parts from the locks and whatnot that I drilled. I mean, think about it, I drilled through three locks in this thing. And who knows what happened before this. I've been experimenting with ways to clean the lenses. I have this one relatively cleaned. I have this half cleaned and this half not cleaned. Well, not too much at least. And then I screwed up this side and made it crack. So I first started with ethanol and that seems to dissolve the top layer of plastic very slowly and then acetone dissolves it very quickly. I'm a bit impatient so I find that doing a little bit of acetone on a little washcloth like this. And then, let's start with this one. This one's a bit foggy, you can see. I'm just going to go lightly because it's going to start spre spreading the plastic around and I don't want it to start bunching up. Like you can see it's coming off actually quite well. So you don't want to have too much weight on it and it's going to come out looking pretty nasty. I'm going to flip this over because there's a lot of junk on there. See, I'm already starting to make streaks, that's so not a good thing. I may have messed up this side. I have a hunch that the acetone can actually crack the plastic. I think that's what I was seeing before. I think that might be mostly it. So I've taken this drill and I've wrapped a washcloth around one end. that up a bit too much. I'll leave it at that. That's a little bit better. I think that's pretty much about as good as I'm going to get with that method. So on the other side, let's try the ethanol. Now this removes the plastic much slower and it might be the better, more patient way. So 
kind of getting a lot of stuff off still. Okay, so that's a little bit cloudy. But it doesn't come out too bad, it actually comes out a bit okay. I think that's good enough. If I try any more, I might just mess it up even further, like I did this one. I grabbed this pipe from my junk and it fits really nicely. And I'm pretty sure that I have all the equipment needed to mount it up. Maybe that's not how that works. Oh, there we go. Well, cool. So this part was giving me a lot of trouble last time. It's because it's all rusted up and so it doesn't move freely. Like these are supposed to move freely. No one doesn't either. So if I put if I put these on here, there's a good chance it could lock up again because these are all stuck. I would hate to think that I put this all back together and it locks up again and I can't get it open and I have the same issue as I had on this one. So at least with this, I can bash it against the table and these will click down and I can pull the lids off. So, so that's pretty good. And that's all lock on there until I hit it forward and that pin will come out. So that's actually working really well. starting to look really nice and clean. Now most of the stuff, I don't want to lose it, but I don't really need it back on the thing because it's just for show now. I don't have to really make it as secure as it was. These pieces are a bit big for the bag, but I figure 
the bag of all the parts can go inside here. Like so. Well guys, I think that's pretty much it. I think I've had enough parking meter fun for a, a good while. Time to move on to other projects. But, I might still think about making a stand for it. Maybe even putting it outside, that'd be kind of funny. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!